we cannot negotiate on their behalf from the seller to get that money, then we're going to have to have the buyer come up with the money. And that's a big issue with me. Three, your last closing you had with like a regular guy, I don't know, he bought 300000 What was his down payment? His down payment was about seven grand. Seven grand. And, seven okay. grand. And what, what about so how he's going to pay you? Yeah. <laughs> He could not have paid me. Okay. The money was not there. If I so, had to spring on him, we would deal with him. It would, it would it would be canceled. There's going to be a storm coming. I'm 100% positive. We, we got a bad rep. We do. People we do. think we open a door, we use no. chat GTP, and we get paid hundreds of thousands well, of dollars. Well, they see me, right? I'm dressed up, trying to look nice, have my fancy car. But let's explain where, how our commission works, right? Hey, guys. Welcome to XR Podcast. Episode 24, I can't believe it. We're here, time is flying. I have the home team today. I got Frank Scaletta. I got Brittany here. Hey Brittany's here. And I got the famous Adam. Famous. Famous, right. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> closing all Just these, a Norwich. Closing all these commercial deals <laughs> yeah. and, you know, nah. get the famous of the right. that is. Appreciate it, but I wouldn't say famous. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, guys, we are, you know, we've been, uh, we've been doing a lot of podcasts. Finally, today we do a home team, and I love, I love doing the home team ones. What's going on right now with real estate, pretty much? Uh, started out, it started out good. Um, started out strong, and then I kind of hit just kind of a little slowdown. But okay. now that March came, it's like, it, it's like a switch. Uh, now my clients are all back. I'm doing... I mean, I mean, it was Christmas, and... Holidays and New Year. Yeah, Year's. I know, but I, I closed some transactions. You want people to go year. out? You go out with you like on Christmas Day? Like, yeah, you know. we go out for Christmas. <laughs> no, it's I, I, I think we was Christmas stuff. I think I had the kind of with buyers. Yeah, my listings, buyers. my listings flew, but the buyers, I felt January they all hit, they all came out. Okay, February they slowed down. They did slow down. Yeah, it was weird. Beginning of March, now I feel like everyone's now more motivated. Like the motivation wasn't there in February, yeah. or early March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First up. Yeah. And prices were really competitive. So everything's multiple Correct. offers, not a lot of houses on the market, mm -hmm. still still inventory things, issues going on. But now it seems like things are, uh, people are more motivated now, or yeah. for me personally. You I feel know. like, no, what about you, Adam? You, you think the rates are affecting a little bit? I think they've cooled off a little bit. Okay. I think that uh, mm -hmm. all the holidays are over. Okay. Spring break, Super Bowl, which is kind of the not official yeah, yeah, yeah. start of the spring season. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of buyers too and a lot of sellers and we're working, but it's hard. It's hard out there. It's very competitive. Yeah. Yeah. There's still not a lot of inventory. I mean, the prices are high a little are. bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and then you got 7% rate, mm -hmm. right? Seven, six and a half, I guess, maybe. Neither uh, of them came down. The, well, they're, they're volatile. Yeah. One day seven, then six and a half, yeah. then six yeah. and a quarter, six, And let's seven, remember, five. that's with good credit. Yep. If your credit's a little iffy, yeah, it's over. you get an 8%. Eight, and... And no. before, when you, if you're if you're FHA mm -hmm. with the competition, it's very hard to get, very hard to get a place. I mean, there's hundred percent. Like if you're FHA, it's really tough to get a uh, anything with multiple offers. You're you're probably gonna yeah. have a hard time yeah. unless you're yeah. really going strong. Unless you have XR. We, unless you have XR, we, 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 we work it out. We yeah, we, fi we find a way. Yep. There's a, there's we, ways, but you know, if you don't, then you're going. I was gonna say we're kind of going back to before COVID. And we had to grind out every deal, and yeah. it was a little extra work, a little bit more running, and the skill set gets used a lot more. Yeah, yeah. definitely before COVID, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like that, 100%. Yeah. It's not like after COVID mm -hmm. when they dropped the rates and everything was going flying like cupcakes, yeah. you know? Right. So, and then a lot of things been happening this year. You know, real estate, I think, is a big topic right now in the, on the news. The I heard. I heard a little bit. <laughs> you heard the uh, State of the Union. Uh, you know, our, our president <laughs> yeah. even mentioned us. You know. Yes. But the NAR, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. You know. A couple clients were checked in to see if I was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how I was doing. You know. I was a uh, quick example. I was in church, and I, you know, I was in church for Easter. Uh, last week was Easter weekend, and uh, my client comes up to me, and there's all this stuff going on uh, the news. You know, with the settlement and everything, and my client's like, "Hey, Greg." I just was checking on you. I'm like, yeah, what's going on? Are you okay? You're gonna be okay? Like, are you gonna? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be okay. I'm like, don't worry. He's like, oh, I just heard all this stuff, and your commission's pretty much um, gone. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you, you guys think? Well, do, does someone want to explain? <laughs> you know, just in case anyone watching doesn't understand exactly what yeah, the yeah. settlement was. Go ahead. Because there's everyone's got doing a lot of taglines. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of th basically uh, National Association of Realtors got sued. Uh, along with probably a bunch of other people. And long story short, they settled. 
And why were they getting sued? They were getting sued. They were getting sued based. They're saying like there's price fixing on commission yeah. fixing, saying like conspiracy, like it's not, yeah, inspiring. yeah, like they're they're non negotiable rates and we're forcing yeah. uh, buyers and sellers to pay these rates. And so basically, they're saying, you know, the, the thing is, why am I paying? Why is the seller paying the buyer's agent, right? Their solution to this or the settlement was obviously a, a, a truckload of money. For mm -hmm. four hundred, almost four hundred twenty million. I mean, the old practice. Sorry to interrupt you. The old practice of you know how if people are listening, like, well, what are you guys talking about, right? It was a buyer called me, and we showed him any house, right, guys? You know, and there was no form to sign. There was not, you know, and they. Yeah. So so let's get yeah let's get to the two things. One okay. is yeah. is is the you know how it works is when you when you list a house, the you guys. It's always been you negotiate commission, even though they said you didn't. You come with a commission, and usually within that, there's something. Hey, if some other realtor's working out there, and they were going to bring a buyer, it's going to help sell your house. But we'll give them a piece of the total commission, whatever you're going to pay my. The office. seller pay, paid the listing agent. The, yeah, the listing agent. And then listing agent yeah. advertise. Advertise. To, advertise online on the MLS. MLS. You know, MLS. And, and it and it what? shows what. So and, and all the websites showed like we you know he shared right half his commission or some people gave us only like a, a quarter a, or two a percent, percent or one percent. percent he could even put a dollar he could put a dollar he's allowed he's allowed um, so now that's, so that's gone. how it was right that's how it's gone okay. I mean just not to go to to bore everybody but it's almost like I mean that, I just want people to understand yeah, that, but that's how you how, regulate how it works as of right now as yeah. of today that's how that's how it's regulated you know I mean? for for so for example. You get to the closing table, and let's say, you know, Adam worked. You know, we could actually, there's something going on right now, kind of, where you worked, and all of a sudden you get to the closing table, your client's excited, they're buying a house, and they're like, wait, where's my, where's my check? <laughs> you don't get paid. You could always go back to the MLS, and that's kind of like they would police it. It's almost yeah. like a written contract to protect you. Correct. And protect, the, protect like, so, hey, if you, get, if you don't get paid, what recourse do you have? Correct. So you could always go back to them, and it kind of just streamlined everything and have everything written down. So, hey, this guy's getting this, this guy's getting that. And, and everyone, we got to abide by that because we're all members. Correct. So that's kind of the idea. It's not a, you know, they're, they're painting the picture like it's an exclusive club that, oh, we're forcing it on anybody. You know, I mean, you could even sell your house by owner. There's so many websites to do. There's, there's, there's I, I think the main thing of the lawsuit, and correct me if I'm wrong, was that they were saying the seller want to just buy the person he's talking with. Yeah. He doesn't want, he, I mean, pay. He doesn't want to pay nobody else. He just wants to pay. Yeah. I talk with you, Greg. I'm only paying you. I yeah. shouldn't pay nobody else. Yeah. That that's the whole lawsuit. I think. Uh, well, yeah. They're saying. Well, yeah. The way they spin it is, oh, this other person actually negotiated my price down, and then I got to pay him on top of it. That's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is, hey, they're bringing their buyer. Correct. Correct. Like without that, you don't have to sell it to them. Don't go down on your price. Stick with your price. Correct. Correct. You know. So so that's what. So basically. We can't put the commission offering to the buyer's agent. So that's one. And I mean, the stipulate. That's as what, of right now. As of right now, that's they, the settlement. They, we'll see if it changes. They settle, and there's, they settle besides money. That's, that's right? one of the rules. They make all money. The lawyers are actually making most of it. It's <laughs> FYI. Everybody else. The plaint, plaintiff, I think you say it. They're making, the, I heard they're making 50 bucks each. Yeah. And the, yeah. But, but it's okay. You that's know, okay. That's okay. Good for, for the lawyers. It's, it's they, for people who were charged 6%. Yeah. Or, or higher in for sellers or buyers. sellers. Correct. Right? Yeah. Which, by the, the way, we ones. by the way we never we, we don't, don't even charge over five. We don't charge six percent. We never did before the lawsuit. Oh, yeah, I, I could say it up front. I don't charge more than four and a half. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. our office. You know what I mean? That's a lot of us do. There's no policy, but that's most of us. Yeah. Think and sometimes yeah. you got to take oh, right. a hit and yeah. all that. And a lot of times, I we are paying the buyer's broker more than Absolutely. what I yes. oh, yeah. hundred percent. Yes. Because we appreciate the buyer. We want to get the deal yeah. done. We, yeah, that's, we, that's, we, that's the whole idea is you, to sell the house. We, you put, you're, 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 you're putting your best, you're trying to get the most money to sell to get to the, to the seller. Right. So if I got right. to pay the buyer, the, the buyer side a little bit more, so be it. I, you yeah. get this, that's the goal. That's the end goal. Yeah. So that's one. So we can't advertise. Uh, but, but now we're settled and now we're agreed to pay the money, right? Um, we'll see how they come up with the money. That's a different conversation. Maybe later after in the podcast. They won't. They won't document the commission split anymore. But yes, That's they can't. More. They can't. The MLS, the main website where all the listing gets posted, uh, cannot show the buyer 
commission. commission. Yeah, what, what, it, what the, what's much the buyer agent so, is going to make. And I, and I think that part for the public, if, I'm, a, if, if I'm a not a non-realtor, I'm like, okay, what's the big deal? Yeah, that's not a big deal. The but next part. The biggest part is that every buyer needs to sign uh, agency okay, agreement. Yeah, and, what, I, and how, how the buyer's agent is going to get paid. And it's like. And how the, much you're going to get paid. Yeah, and the, the three options I see, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's hey, uh, this, is, this is the commission I want. So if it's, let's go with the average. If, you, if the guy puts two and a half, the buyer signs, hey, I either I'm going to get, the seller's going to pay it, and if the seller doesn't pay it, if they pay, I'm going to pay the, the difference or all of it. And the buyer, you mean? The buyer. So the buyer. Yeah, so if the, if the seller's not offering it, then the mm -hmm. buy, that falls on the buyer. And, they, and, they're, and none of the realtors want this, or at least none of the ones I talk to. But I mean, they, it doesn't matter right now at this point what we want and not want. The, the, well, I'm just it, I'm just saying who it's coming from. I mean, I think it's important yeah. to say we're. It's not another thing of oh well, and it almost is going to fall back to okay. We, the whole premise of it is we're coll we're colluding and, and and making people do this. Well, now, to, before you see a house, this is what they want us to do. Who's going to sign a four page paper contract? You just want to go see, you know? Oh, my neighbor down the street selling the house. Right. I'm renting. I'm renting an apartment around the corner. I love the neighborhood. I don't know if I'm buying. I just want to go see the house. Correct. Now I got to show up with a four-page contract Correct. for them to like. That's gonna say I'm. You're gonna pay me all this money. Correct. And you but, just met me. Yeah. Like, but you scare them. Correct. Correct. <laughs> but we could say also, Adam. Right. The. It's still the law has it like it has. A, it's not approved yeah. 100 percent yet. No, we don't. We don't know. This right? things could we change. We won't know until July. They settle, but they need to approve. And the government also might add some other changes. There might be well. changes. Right. Uh, so for now, it's business as forms, form. right? New right. forms. Yeah, we we've don't seen know. A, we've seen examples of the forms and correct. Pretty much, it's gonna <clears throat> have a client agree to a certain time that correct. they want to work with us. Correct. Some people are gonna ask for a long time. We correct. mostly do everything on a handshake, so that's gonna be yep. hard for us. We're old school. Yep. Yep. Second thing is they're gonna it's gonna require us to ask for a certain amount of money from the buyer, and if the buyer if we cannot negotiate on their behalf from the seller to get that money, mm -hmm. then we're gonna have to have the buyer come up with the money, and that's a big issue with me because we deal with a lot of blue collar people. We're yeah, from the neighborhood. Exactly. Our but but I hear the are, industry out there is like, oh, it's just like a commercial deal, and I'm not that I wanna like you know point you out, but I know you do some commercial deals. Yeah. And people are like, oh, it's just going to be like a commercial deal. The buy and the commercial deals where the MLS doesn't really show how much a buyer agent is going right. to make. Yeah. So on a and, commercial side, mm -hmm. we'll, when we make an offer, we request what we want to get paid in Correct. the offer. It's not disclosed. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like where this is headed. But the okay. problem with that is with commercial, what's, what's we're dealing it? with large volume of money. Exactly. Dealing with corporations and people who are putting down huge down payments. Yeah. Typically, how much 25 is Twenty-five percent is the minimum. The mon right? money, is so, there. So, so there, the money's there. So we're yeah. talking about commercial deal. These people have like a couple hundred thousand dollars. Yes. A couple hundred. Yes. Yeah. Right. So they have what, money to pay everybody. What, what about Bree? Your your last sorry, interrupt. Yeah. Go ahead. Bree, your last closing you had with like a regular guy. I don't know. He bought three hundred thousand. What was his down payment? His down payment was about. Seven grand. Seven grand. And, Seven okay. grand. And what, what so about how he's gonna pay you? Yeah. <laughs> he could not have paid me. Okay. The money was not there. If I so. had to spring on him, hey, actually, they're not gonna pay me. It, we deal would have been. Done. It, would, it would. It would be canceled. So you he would have to work it out me. with the seller. So that's yes. the, in a way, the consumer. The consumer really doesn't benefit. It seems like way. they're losing a little bit of their their. They're losing us, or their guidance, especially if they're yeah. a first-time home buyer, don't know anything about houses. Yes, we've seen house thousands of because, houses. Let's in say in this case, in Brittany case, right? The guy that can't pay you, and he still wants a house. Yeah. And now you're trying to negotiate with the seller because that's what we're gonna do at XR. We're gonna mm -hmm. try to make sure the buyer doesn't, you know, pay. Hopefully, it doesn't have to pay on pay minimum. You know, almost. That's the not. goal. That's and yeah, we're, we're gonna try to negotiate with the seller to give us some money. Or work it out maybe with a loan. We'll see. Depend on what programs come out. Mm -hmm. But what about there's a scenario, there's multiple offers, and the seller side like, hey, I'm not paying the buyer agent. And that's it. Like it or don't like it. And you still want to get the house for the buyer. What do you do? And in that case, it's my client comes first. So okay. I may have to take... You risk to... I, I will risk... Make maybe even $1,000. Maybe $1,000. You never know. Just... You know for I mean? my client, correct. It may be like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just it's probably going to happen, right? Because we're still figuring this out. We're so still figuring out. I right. may have to take a yeah. cut. Maybe a cut. Case. Maybe, Maybe. A, yeah. 
I'll figure out. I'll try to get yeah. creative, but there Correct. there may be. But he's going to be happy. My Correct. client's going to be happy. He got his condo, Correct. and he's He'll going to remember. And then that going to that, I was talking off camera with Frank. He has a situation, right, Frank? Maybe you talked yeah, about uh, well, where. Yeah, so that was a situation where uh, you literally right now. Two, two years ago, okay, two, no, four years ago. It was uh -huh. it was twenty twenty because we were all locked in. Uh, you know, we're trying to negotiate. It I was, wasn't it was, it was a great. Uh, it was he has just, PTSD <laughs> still. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. This for the record, not me. But okay, anyways, okay. go ahead. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> we were uh, yeah. So house, these people love it. You know, very hard for them to find something. It, it, you know, they were very particular on and off. It's like, hey, I, I'm negotiating the seller. The seller's agents like Frank. Listen, this guy ain't budging. My client's not budging. He goes, hey, we can make this work. Bottom line, we, I'm I'm barely making much. You okay. cut your end, wow. and we get this done. You so I did, I did, yeah, I had to cut it a lot, like a in lot. half. Well, I think we but, should all be like that, and that's well, why we got you, people. Well, I don't, yeah, people don't understand that, like, just because you're going out with somebody, they're not gonna buy. There doesn't mean you're gonna get to the closing table. How, I mean, half of the people, I mean, half of the showings they do, more than half is waste. Is they're not, it's they don't amount to it. So. Hey, if I got a chance to get a deal done, I'm getting it done. Yes. Long story short, I got it done. Guess what? I got a phone call yesterday. They're going to list. They called me. Wow. Now, if I didn't get it done, maybe they would have never bought a house. They may have been like, you know, this guy's greedy. They right. might have called another yeah. agent. They might have called They might have called somebody else. They might have right. got, and, but it's kind of the long-term long term, term, long payout. Long payout. Relationship. Long-term relationship. Yeah, relationship. Now, yeah. Yeah. but, you know, that's, you know, with the way the system's set up, that worked out. But, like, for what you just talked about on your end... Yeah. You know, that's us, but if there's, you know, just think about it when someone really needs that check. Now you, you just, you're just opening up a can of worms in the industry that could lead to more things. I, I mean, I mean, in that, Brittany's that, case, for example, if she, you know, I mean, maybe, well, it's she, a hypothetical maybe she doesn't make that much money at yeah. that point, but maybe later on the client gives her three referrals or yeah. you make money later on. You no, know, yeah. it's always that's a client. A, that's you got to think about long term. That's how, yeah, that's how we think. It always has to be long term. But that's what we got to do. I mean, XR is going to do that. Well, what, what's We're not going to be like some of the a, a, agencies out there. Sorry, I don't want to call out to anybody. But some of the big brands, um, they're not going to do that. They're going to have a buyer agency yeah, disclosure. Yeah, and but, that's, but that's what the laws require. What they require to bring it to. What do you mean law? That's what the, so. So the laws requiring that. Yeah, you, we'll put. A, yeah, but everything could be negotiated. Everything could oh, be yeah, you amended. Could, you, could amend, you, could amend, you could maybe amend it after. My my <laughs> buyer agency, I'll say right now, are going to be not as all of them not exclusive. It's cancel anytime. Yeah, I have no problem to say it. Even my listings are canceled. Yeah, anytime. Well, I don't. I don't. I never. I never. So I got no issues. I, I look at contracts like this. I go by performance. That's how. I, I look at contracts yes. like this. Unless I'm willing to go sue the guy, what's the point of it? I'm not gonna go sue my buyer if I eat like there's agents now they do the buyer thing. Well, I don't want to waste my time. They do it, they make them sign. It's I like, mean, you gotta have some kind of contract, right? Oh yeah, you have to have it. But it's like I'm not like, gonna, if you do like if somebody like oh no, at least you know you're gonna get paid. Right. But I mean, okay, if you don't get paid, are you gonna really go sue the client? Yeah, because no. what's so, gonna happen? You get to the you get there, you're you're under contract, and they don't have the money, but they already agreed. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Money. It is you're what gonna, it is. Hey, it's, you still gotta pay it's, me. It's, no, it, you're not gonna do I mean, that. at this point. It's good. You, you, you like, I, it's just, I look at it the same thing. Like, okay, it's the same thing. If I go out and spend, I got people I've been working with three years. They haven't, I haven't made a dime off of it yet, but yeah. they might not buy. They might just say, you know what? I'm buying Forget this. And that's always the time. What's the difference? Same right. thing. Yeah. I, I, I think it's going to be really similar to, we went through it, me and Frank, um, the foreclosure time. Remember the, between 2009, yeah. 2013, a lot of agents, there's going to be a storm coming. I'm a hundred percent positive. The storm is coming. Whoever survives are going to make a lot more money in the future. Yeah. Because it's going to be shaky and people are going to get confused. A lot of people are going to get out of the business. Yeah, you get scared. Our business is going to increase and maybe we're going to make less money. But in the long run, we're going to create more clients. Our pipe, everybody pipeline is going to yes. increase. You know? I mean, when, um, when, we, when we did it, it was all the listing. I remember all the listing. But how many people left? All listing. If you're a listing agent and you didn't focus on buyers, you're out. Because... Yeah. Your listings weren't selling. It was yeah. all foreclosures and short Correct. sales. They, their prices couldn't compete. And then if you want to do a short sale, they're like, oh, well, like all this paper, they weren't, they weren't tech savvy. A lot they, of agents didn't want to do they, short they, sale, they, they, foreclosure. They didn't know. They didn't yes. know, like, oh, I got to scan all these papers. This foreclosure contract's not like our contract. It was, 
your contract, but, and then the foreclosure company had their own contract. I could tell you nine out of ten top agents that I know out there in the market right now are the ones that survived those times and built up their business at that time. Yeah. Though, all of them. And you guys might say, no, I did something else. No, you did that. You worked your ass off at that time. You increased your pipeline. I did too. I yeah. had okay business, but that time I quadrupled. Yeah. Because I was helping. I was willing to work. But was I making the same money? No. No, I was not. I was probably making half of what I'm making now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's and working it. a lot more. Yeah. That's how so, it is. But it is what it is. Yeah. So I, I, th I think it's going to be the same. There's going to be like this mass confusion at the end of this. If this, if this all pans out like they're saying it is in July, it's going to be mass confusion. And then, and then we'll, we'll adjust Correct. and adapt once we, yeah. once, we figure, once we figure out when the, when the smoke clears and we know exactly what needs to be done. It's going to be a change, guys. That's yeah, it's going to be a change. I, I wow. think the, the internet was a change. If this gets approved for real, because I don't know if it's going to get approved yeah. or maybe they don't approve it. Who knows, right? But if it gets approved, I think it has to change. The agent also got to be more. What do you think, Frank? Uh, Adam, we were talking about that value, right? Yeah. You have yeah. to provide a little bit more value. Yes, you do. You know? You have to... You, you can't your, just open a paycheck. door. I mean, that's the, let's be honest. The memes yeah. online, which yeah. I love. Send me memes. Send me all the real estate memes you can. Um, we, we got a bad rep. We do. People we do. think we open a door, we use we chat GTP, and we get paid hundreds of thousands well, of dollars. To, but, and, you know, that's, that's just what it is. It's well, been like you, that there, since this, I this, started. This, this business is easy to get in. You take a class. Yes. You get your license. Yes. You sign up. So yeah. there are, I'm There's sorry, I'm sorry, there are some agents that don't do anything. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And there are some agents that get their license because they can't. Hold, but then not they, everybody's making, cool. they can't hold a job. Yeah. yeah, but they make it look like they do make yeah. money. That's the problem. Yeah, but but in reality, they reality they don't. Seven out of ten agents are making. But they want to go to the party. Not more than forty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> they like the but, but you can literally make more at Costco. So, <laughs> but I'm saying you know? that's that's what sometimes, unfortunately, that's what sometimes what people see. <clears throat> but okay. what you, yeah, well, I'm yeah. glad you brought it up because yeah. I was thinking about Bree's situation and talking about value. What if she told her client that he had to pay her and he couldn't, and then she had to leave him, and he had to buy his first home? That's true. With a very low down payment, not a lot of cash for any kind of major repairs or issues in the future, mm -hmm. and not have any guidance at all mm -hmm. about the neighborhood, yep. the house, the yep. structure, any issues that can go wrong, appliances, roof, windows, what's important, what isn't, finding an inspector they can trust, yep. finding a lawyer they can trust, finding a lender they can trust. A lot of things. You know, the seller's agent works for the seller. Yeah, 100%. They're not going to do double work. They're not. Or go out of their way to help you, unfortunately. Yeah. Because their job is to sell the home at the best possible price for the seller. For a seller, 100%. So in my opinion, our job is more, you know, what we do is going to stand out more. It might take some time. Correct. People might need to realize it yeah. by going out there. Yep. But so many situations like Bree, I've had buyers where we've been literally step by step the entire process. And I've shown them everything. And by the time we're done at the end of the deal, they're so appreciative of what we've done. Yeah. And that's not talked about. So, no. you know, this, this lawsuit and this stuff going on, it's going to start forcing people to kind of go on their own on this. Yep. And I, I'm interested to see how it's going to shake out. Yeah. I mean, it, it can. I agree. We'll, we'll, I agree, man. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see if it does. It can. I mean, that's kind of. But you also got to become an agent with more, you know, the value and some more knowledgeable, right? Um, you have to know a little bit about the house, guys. You know, I mean, you got to know a little bit about the structure, the roof, the windows. I think you, you always know, had to know. I like, know, but uh, there's a lot of agents. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Sorry. They, some agents don't even own a house. Oh, I know. I know. Sorry, but it's the truth. You know what I mean? They're good salespeople. They're good, and they talk good and everything, and that's good. But I think now, why would the buyer hire you? You know, if the buyer has yeah, it's to coming pay out, you, it's even if they out. have to pay you like 1%, right? It's coming out of their pocket. And it's coming out of their pocket. Like, wait a second. This guy can't even, like, what is he doing? A lot, a lot of times. He, he has no idea about uh, how even the dishwasher works. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? There's no school for this. I mean, there's we learned not. this sitting in on hundreds of inspections, yeah. seeing hundreds of reports, visiting thousands of houses. That's right. Talking to clients after purchase or before purchase. Right. This is not something there's a book on. No, this this is not. all something that you learn through experience. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to learn. Yeah. You know, the, the people you know, who don't have that experience, it shows when you deal with them. 100%. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. buyers don't know that. Sellers don't know that right. until they're later on in the game. And then it gives everybody else a bad rep. Right. Right. Yeah. And then, and then just the ins and outs of the contract. I mean, how many times you meet the buyer and they're like, they think it's like buying a new car. They drive it off the lot and they're stuck with it. And you kind of like, hey, 
you got a way out here, a way out of this deal here. A way out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now imagine now they're gonna go. You got to know the contract. They're, they're going up against you know? a listing agent. You know, if the listing agent, if if he's doing both, he knows let, everything. Let's tell you something. Let's say the truth. When I when I, in this, when we started, man, there was some listing agent out there. They used to like you know some of uh, the ones working in big on you know <laughs> names, Berkshire or Re I could say it. I don't care. Berkshire. They used to chew you alive. But I remember I chew you alive. You don't make it an oh you know if you're not ready and willing to close, I am gonna take the earnest money. Yeah. And you're in breach. Blah blah blah. Make you feel like this. Can you imagine now they're dealing with uh, with the buyer directly? Well, because, by, well, the, the listing agent. We know the rules. You don't like. I know all the rules. You don't. I'm not saying like I w I'm, I'm that type of person, but at the end of the day, I gotta do what the seller tells me, yes. and and then I know who your lender is. I know who what what what's going on. Yeah. Like if you have to get out of something or, or something happens, it's like right. it's gonna be hard. No one's working on your but, side. But that's why the this, confidentiality. This conversation that we're having right now, because I think we skipped it, is that the buyer might what might happen if the agents become too expensive. Yeah. The buyer might just go directly to the listing agent, yeah. right? That well, could happen. Well, a buyer's agent, I mean, okay, that's a one-off thing. Know, right? That's hopefully that's one time. Right. Maybe once in a while the guy doesn't have money and she's got to work for free and do a whole transaction and not make a dollar. If that keeps happening, people are... But XR, we're going to do that. But a lot right. of agents, they're starting to interrupt you. No. Yeah, they're not going to do that. They're no, not going to work for free. They're not going to work for a thousand. They're no, going to say, they, hey, say, hey, this is what, this I is want my 2%, 3%. If I don't get it, 25 I'm not that's, working with yeah, you. Yeah, that's fine. So that's what it. the buyer's going to do? Buyer still wants a house, man. Yeah, that's all they're trying to do is buy the a house. buyer still wants a house. They're, they're going to call. I'm telling you, my calls, are, I do a lot of listings. They have increased lately. Yeah. Directly from the buyers. Really weird. Yeah. They have increased. I don't do them directly myself. I give it to my staff. I got a lot of people here, and I make them represent them, and that's what I've been doing. To not create dual. Yeah, that happened to me too. This, the, yeah, someone that they, they lived in the building, they can't, yep. they can't, they're like, oh, they actually tried, they called the seller directly. They're doing And the it. seller's like, Frank, can you, do, I, yeah, I, don't want, I don't want no part of this. It's insane right now because that's the, but that's gonna happen more and more. And that's why they gotta watch out now because then you could have some listing agents getting, you know, get really aggressive. Yeah, you can, you can explain that. And now, if you tell the seller, I'm charging you two and a half percent to your house, I'm not paying another side. Yeah. Someone comes directly to you, mm -hmm. you're not getting paid. And you can't afford to hire someone to represent them. So they have to sign a form saying that they're yeah. going to be unrepresented. That's right. And that you work for the seller. That's right. And now they have no protections, That's no right. guidance. And why? Because the seller doesn't want to pay yeah. for anybody else. So, and, and this one could happen, guys. It could be a big mess for a couple of years, and maybe it goes backwards. Yeah. Trust me. It's not, nothing's written forever. Yeah. You know there'll, what be, I mean? there'll be another lawsuit that'll go No, back. there might be. Actually, I heard uh, today you went to a podcast yeah. with a lawyer and, that, um, and then inspector. And he read the whole Nar settlement, and there's an expiration date. Really? Unless I'm wrong, he read it, and there's an expiration date uh, in seven years. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> so it means in seven years we could go all back to normal. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I got to triple check. Let's facts, let's but, let's talk about something. I heard. So this is how it is in other countries. Let's use Italy for example. That's where we have a little some yes. experience. Okay. It's terrible. Terrible. It's a terrible system. It's, ter uh -huh. it's terrible. You're calling. You don't know who you're dealing with. It's posted on four different sites. There's ten different. Let me what happens agents. in Italy. They discriminate. They're steering. They're <laughs> setting people where they're going to get paid. Uh, you're not buying the best product. Uh, mo most of the families involved because they are like afraid. They don't trust nobody. The agents are not trusted, and even the people get paid too if they bring somebody. Like, oh, I can get yeah, paid. Yeah, just it's a like, random person. Go? They're like, don't, do you do this? Yes. Like, I can, they're exp when I go there. No, that's bad. I'm like, oh, if I did that, I get like five, find like twenty grand if you did that. They here. were you trying didn't... to copy our system to get better. Yeah, and, and we just can't. And we just cancel it. <laughs> we're going back. We just cancel our system. Yeah. It's like it's. It, I'm cracking. I up. mean, it's 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 really it's really a perfect system. I mean, the the deal is. I like, mean, it was okay. I think. Sorry, I'm over talking. Well, it's not perfect. I shouldn't say it that. was good. It was good. I think it, it was good, but I think a little bit too much. There was a little. The reason we got sued because everybody's like, "Oh, it's standard. It's standard." No, it's not standard. Yeah. It's kind of like yesterday. One of my agents, I don't, all the agents out there, I don't use showing assist. I just don't. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I got my way. They're like, oh, why are you not using showing assist? And showing assist is a showing app that we use to make appointments. To make appointments. Properties. Yes. I like to email. I like to call. I like to set it up face to face. They hate that. And they're like, oh, it's standard, Greg. No, it's not standard. There's no law. But because we made the commission like, oh, it's standard. And people got confused that it's not negotiable. That's why we got sued. Well, there's some... Uh, 
I don't think we made that. I think some agents go in there. This is what it is. This is what my, you know. So you get some big companies that do that. You sure we and didn't? I don't there's know. A couple big us? apples. Not us. You said we. Like a lot. We no. like the industry. No, I don't think so. The Real realtors. Everyone. Everyone. Uh, I don't, well, let's put it this way. Maybe where you got to look at your market. Our market, like around our neighborhood. That's that's there's a, there's an agent in our neighborhood that only pays two percent to the buyer in every yeah. his whole office. That's true. I don't think it's standard. We take less all the time. Um, you know, I I mean, yeah, people. I mean, but the the bottom line is is people aren't going to work for free. Redfin four or five years ago, they tried this one percent listing and everyone's up in arms. They had billboards one percent, one percent didn't last because they lost money because it's too much work for that much money. Yes. And it's not, and that's a big company that has resources that has. Uh, unless, Probably the most visited, one of the most visited real estate, second most, maybe Zillow's number one. Uh, unless it gets simplified. We don't know where it's going. I, I, think, I think that's why there's a, that expiration. They've been trying it. to simplify. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they, unless they, it gets simplified, man. I don't know. They, they, they can simplify it all you want, you know? but it's not a... I mean, it, I just it, look at, I look at the car I, industry. There's still think, car sales. Man. I think it's one thing. It's all about the buyer, how he's going to access the property. Well, if you simplify the buyer access to the property, nah. you'll be able to verify him. It could get more simple. I, I, I think. I don't know. I think. I think. Rent, I don't know. Rental because rental listings. These big property managers. They do. They let them in, but they're big owners. on their own. I think so. On their own. I've, yeah. I've heard people that they look scan for your identification. I put. Yeah, they ID. get their ID and okay. they go. But okay. but at the same time, every seller's different. I guess they want true. me there too. Not the only realtor. No, 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 you are here. The last guy doesn't wipe his feet. And I had a whole mess here. My you're lights here. were on. You're here. My lights on. Doors unlocked. So, like, there's that. I'm okay. not saying everybody's like that. Okay. okay. And I think there's a buyer that can handle a listing agent. Very small percentage. Yeah, maybe that's one, true. Maybe 5%. More savvy. Gotta be, yeah. More savvy. Yeah. But the majority of homes... They're going to need some help. They need help. Man. Okay. They need help. I agree with you. And I, I'm curious also help. from our point of view and what... This, they, this was supposed to do this. The part of it was to help bring the prices of homes down. We take about two percent. So Your president told you that three hundred thousand. That's six thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm interested to see if the sellers are gonna say, no. you know what, I'm not paying a buyer's I'll, agent. I'm gonna drop it. I'll, t- I'll tell you that's $6, that's a no. no. I, don't, I don't need to ask. But if you talk to anybody, and I could use this as an example, right now this is happening, that the home selling by owner, that buyer wants the difference in that price. Oh, it's five. It's whatever. It's three hundred. He would have to pay the agent fifteen thousand. I want so two eighty five is like asking price. They already calculated in their head, and that's not me telling them what the commission is. They already know. So, okay, is it price? Like you already know what the commission is. You want the savings. The seller's trying to sell it and get the savings to sell it on his own. It's just I just I never see that. I never see that. They want no. That one sold for three hundred. No, no, no. Next door sold for three hundred. I want three to four. The buy owner <laughs> buy owner listings are usually the most expensive. Oh yeah, because like they're, they're more. Well, you got to think they're of the, psych- actually the psychological either. part, right? Yeah, they already want. They already they want to pay that money, and yeah. they want they want the most. Yeah, so exactly. they're they're already higher, and like yeah, I'll just put it, see what happens. I think the main okay. If we recap the whole thing, it it depends how the market is in the economy. If it's a if it's a buyer market, trust me, this is not even an issue, guys. Yeah. Every seller is going to offer everything. They're going to even offer their car. They're going to offer their son, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to offer anything. It doesn't matter. They're like, I got to get rid of this house. What? The law tells me I can't offer commission. I offer him 10 grand. I offer him even more. Yeah. In Italian, when you can't sell something, they're like, hey, I want, you know, a bump. They offer a- anything. Yeah. Even a lot more than com- yeah. the normal 2.5%. No, yeah. Right now, we've just been in a five, six year of seller market. I mean, the problem is if it's a seller market, then things are going to change. And, and I mean, it's well, gonna, that's it is, where, it is that, a seller's market. Yeah. I mean, right now it would be hard because the seller, the ball is on in the seller court, and they make the rules, and then and then that's when it's going to be hard. And they could say, "Hey, I'm not paying you nothing. I got the demand, so why should I pay you?" Yeah. That, so that's when it's going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, and I mean, I, I've yeah. had some multiple offers. From, maybe I remember one in particular. It was like four. Ah, this place like blew up. It was like four forty, mm-hmm. and. This this lady, it was like her son or something. She's like, hey, they, they went up to four fifty, I think, and they're like, I'll won't take a commission because I just want them to have it. Yeah, exactly. I've done it too. But but she said that, but still, I had four eighty five. So yeah, Sorry. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, so her you commission wasn't high. enough. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm like, I, got, I, I go, you're not there yet. I had so many deals where I but that was I told the listing agent, hey, you make a little bit more, take it off from my bottom line, you know, yeah. just to get the deal done. Yeah. But. So it's interesting. We're going to see how it plays out. 
We gotta see how it shakes out. But I, I feel like the public is like I don't. I think they kind of know. All they're hearing on on the on the news is, oh, you're gonna you're gonna save money. You're gonna save money. You're gonna save money. I don't think buyers are saving any money, and I think they're they're losing twice. They're gonna yeah. they're not they're not getting money back, and they're losing um, the service. Right. So they're losing twice. The seller, so far, they're they're, they're still they're even got yeah. more power. The seller's got more power. And more money. Because they could choose to give the commission. The seller has give, more power, yeah. And they're in the seller's but, market. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Change. Right. But the buyer, okay, let's say, I know we talked about the little per- percentage that the buyer cannot pay. But what about a buyer is okay and they're okay to pay you some money, okay. right? You know, but now they see all these opportunities where they could contact directly the listing. So us as agent, we have to be more relevant, yeah. right? We're going to be more out there, right, Brittany? Be more out what do you there. think? Like, you know? Well... I think, unfortunately, yes, the, even if they have the money to pay us, it's important for us to show. I mean, if they're paying something, okay, it's a, sorry to interrupt you. If I don't pay something and it's free, I'm like, eh, whatever, I don't care how the guy is, right? I went to the furniture store, mm-hmm. whatever, as long as he's half, half decent, he could yeah. place my order. I'm not paying him, right? The store's right. paying. He's maybe making a commission with the store's paying the commission. I don't even know nothing about it. Kind of like how real estate worked. Yeah. So maybe when you're a buyer agent... The buyers were using somebody, just whoever got you, in, who was faster, yeah, who was, or, got or, me in the door. Or someone that just got their license. And relative. respond by, yeah, and he was more hungry, right? But now if the buyer going to pay, they're going to pick, they're going to have to pick a, they're going to have to like, they, wow, I mean, I want to hire somebody that's yeah. good. Yeah. They they're, get they're the paying job. for it. They're like, okay, right? no, if I'm paying for yeah. it, I want the best of the best. That's how it is on this thing. But how are they going to find you? How are they going to find We got to yeah. continue to put ourselves out there. You got to keep doing your marketing, yep. social media, or yep. paying for ads. Yep. You have to throw yourself out there a, yep. a little more. Yep. Show your value yep. as a buyer's agent because yep. it's not just about, hey, I want to come see your house. Um, yep. That's it. There's so much There's so much that buyers don't realize 100%. of what we need to do, and it's our right. job to show them, hey, until, we can do it. At, until you, you, know, you talk to someone who's worked with us. I feel like when I work with a buyer and we close, and after they've been through that experience and you ask them, they'll have a lot of, you know, they know yeah. exactly what we went through. And yeah. they start telling friends, and that's how we get a lot of well, our business. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I, th- I think, you, I think you talked more about how you get the people. But once you open the first door, then you got to really show your value. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's one thing to get the phone to ring. Mm-hmm. That takes a lot of work already. It yeah, takes like, all that stuff. But yeah. then when you show up, when you... When you get the call on Sunday and you don't feel like going, no, you, gotta get you your gotta go. You gotta get yeah. your you better go. You a lot of people go. don't want to like, eh, I'm busy. Maybe we can we do Monday. And yeah, I have to do Monday. you gotta. You, it's I, I actually worked at a short time at a place and the guy sold tools and and they were expensive. They're the most expensive tools. Mechanics buy them, and he told me he said people want service. Yeah, they'll pay whatever. You gotta give them service. Service. Yeah. Like you're right. They have some breaks, you fix it right away. If they need something, you get it to them right away. If you start not showing up and doing yeah. this, that's it. You could, but if you do that, they'll, they'll, they're willing to pay more for it. Yeah. So, and that goes with the with the listing. So we try to, I try to give them both good service and like not be the most expensive. Yeah. You know, I'm not charging yeah. you the, the top percentage. I think that's how we all are here at, yeah. at XR. We yeah. all are. Well, we have that culture. Service. Yeah. Correct. We have that culture, and I and I actually so like Rick said, I was on a podcast radio thing, and the guy was kind of intrigued. You open a brokerage, and he's like, "Do you want? Well, what do you look for if you're going to bring somebody on? Is it like how do you know if they're going to do?" Like all these sales, I mean, could you tell? I'm like, I don't really look for if they're gonna do all those because we got a guy that does rehabs and he just wants to do his four or five deals, and we got someone that does eight deals and someone that does twenty deals. I go, I just look for somebody humble, yep. that's gonna treat people right, respect yep. people, yep. and then and if he wants to do the work, he'll do the work. Deal. If he yep. doesn't, he doesn't. I just don't want someone over here that's uh, 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 that's like a yeah, uh, what do you call yeah. causing yeah, and ca- like area Shady, causing yeah. causing drama in the office. Especially right now with yeah. all this buyer agency Yeah, you got to be, you got oh, to walk up, especially listening. If you're a listening agent and, and you're going to get your phone ring, you could do it. There's a way to work it. Like I referred someone here, but you got to yeah. walk a fine line. Maybe yeah. the person's getting, you know, because then you got to walk a fine line. But integrity is going to be huge now. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of new lawsuits coming up. Oh, yeah. With like, little agent yeah. situation with buyers and sellers. Yeah. So you got to be up front. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? So it's huge. So we don't want any of the. No, we you we know, just fast yeah. money guy. No. no, it takes time. This job, I'm being real. It's it's not gonna happen one two years. You're not gonna become rich fast. Better maybe bet on Bitcoin. 
that better chance because real estate is going to take time. I think that's why we don't worry so much. So clients don't worry too much about us. We're humble. Yeah. We charge no the market. Yeah. We don't do dual agency, which means we don't represent yeah. both sides. And I, if I got to give back some of my commission, I, I done it. You know what I mean? It's Always, like, you got to yeah. do what you got to do. Like, you know, yeah. you have to adapt. Yeah. Um, you have, it, there's, it's always changing That's right, in our right. industry. So if you're comfortable with getting uncomfortable and 100%. adapting to new circumstances, yep. um, I'm more solution driven. So all these changes going on. Yeah, it's scary, but I know. All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll I'm figure not, out. We'll figure out. And you got to have options, too. And, you know, I mean, uh, as a new agent, it's going to be harder sometimes, right? He's yeah. gonna have, he's gonna have to work even extra it's hard. You know? I, I think yeah, right now with these changes um, the way they are, I think it's gonna be really hard yeah. for new agents. But like for us, XR, me and Frank, when we set up the whole joint, you know, we we always thought about the worst is gonna happen. Yeah, for real. And so so that's why we have no problem. We're gonna stay. A lot of people like today at the podcast you were. Yeah, like, he's like, oh, oh my god, god, how you, you do think it? there's value in the brick and mortar? I'm yeah. like, yeah, I mean, but you, you know, you can't. Yeah. You gotta you gotta always prepare for like yeah. something to happen. We always you yeah. can't you can't expect you're gonna be. Always on top of the mountain every every year, year Correct. after year after year. No, for, absolutely for the rest not. of the time. So you're gonna have some valleys, and and this could be one of them. I'm, and we'll just take it as. I'm it comes. ready to go work with my dad and plant some tomatoes. And <laughs> That's I used, right. you know, and, you know, my my dad went in town. He was selling some tomatoes on the street. You know. Well, we hope you know, we'll, 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 we'll get to that, that too. Point. No problem. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> that's why we're good here at XR because it's it starts in um, leadership, and you guys are uh, there are people here at XR I appreciate it. Yeah. leadership, and you kind of are, are like, hey, yeah. it's gonna be fine. We're gonna figure yeah. it out instead of freaking out and scaring yeah. all of us. It's like yeah, and plus we're not gonna give you the you know we're gonna tell you the truth too. What yeah. we really believe. We're not gonna give you like all the like you know. The bluff and well, the yeah. thing is, we're we're on the ground working too. Like we're not stuck. Right. We like we we yeah. haven't took like oh we're gonna step back and we're, we're let everybody like we're out selling too. Like so we're we're doing this all the same things. We're dealing with the same issues. We're not like well you know you should do it this way or that way. We're we're walking yeah. the same. You're walking the talk because yeah, there's walking the same talk step. out there. Like you know, and but they're not, right yeah. now there's all kind of people walking. Yeah, like oh right? you gotta YouTube seminary or whatever the industry people talking and. They well, all yeah, have a special way, but no one's well, like, really oh, this is, this is going to be a great opportunity to show your value, tell them all the things you got. I'm like, yeah, that's good, but I think to the, to, like, I just put I'm myself. I'm like, dude, do you have clients? Do you go out? <laughs> yeah. Do you have you been in it with a client, signed the form? When was the last time you did it? Or did you ever do it? Are you just running like a little show here on yeah, camera? Yeah, you know, I mean, like, we do it too here at the camera, right? But we do it because we want to be. It's the new thing, adapt and, and be in front yeah, of well, our clients. Well, face, we do but, it. We yeah. these are the things I'm saying. It's like I. This has really happened. It's not like okay, you just tell them what what you're gonna do, yeah. and they're gonna like love. They act like they're gonna be thrilled to sign it. Yeah. I talked to someone didn't know what was going on. I explained to him. I'm like, would you want to sign? He's like, no, absolutely not. I don't want to <laughs> sign it. I just want to see the house. Yeah, that's He's the like, truth. So I'm trying to do. I I, I might buy. There's a house for sale. I want to just see it. Yes. Is that that? Is that too much to ask? Like, it seems like it's over getting over complicated. So we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different today. I mean, one of the first times we're gonna we actually got a question in. From Bob. So Bob just, just, this is very confusing for buyers, you know? So, uh, Carlos, we laugh. What are you saying, buyer? Bob's saying, like, okay, what happens? You sign this thing, right? Like, a lot of, on the listing side, a lot of people put a six month term. We do cancel any time, yeah. most part, yeah. right? So, okay. hey, you so don't like buyers, us, you don't like the way we work. Okay. But Whatever. buyer, we never had no Buyers, you never had to do this. Nobody so now it's, it's kind of mirroring that. So, okay. like, let's say you buyer get somebody, agreement. you okay. go there, and then you had a fallout with the guy. You know? So they sign a buyer agreement. And they, like, let, let's say you just okay. use somebody else. But and let's they say they sign. They, uh, who, buyer, so you got to sign. Like, okay, so before you see a house, you're supposed to. They want the new ruling. They want us to sit down, sign an agreement. This is what I'm going to make. Be paid. Paid by you, the seller, or split between the two of you, some way, somehow. This is what I'm, this is what the ruling wants. Okay. Not my rules. And um, so, like, let's say you do it. It's April 1st. Mm -hmm. Come May, and I got it from April until. Let's say I did it till October. Okay. Now come May May fifteenth, you know Bob's not happy. He's like, you know what? I don't. I don't really. I'm not gelling with this guy. What like, happens? Doesn't like what Greg. happens? I want. I, I want to work with. Technically now. I want to work with Greg. Yeah. Technically now. I saw your video, Greg, and I yeah. want to work with you, and I'm stuck with. Uh, I hope I'm. You know, I, I guess technically, if I don't do the cancel anytime, right? My typical thing, and I just go by, you know, do the, put all the. Our He's locked in. Our big, yeah, our big guys are doing out there. Then he's locked in. He can't, locked he in. can't change. So you he, can't change. He Bob could get sued 
And he owes me the money if he buys he owes somebody the money, else. Or you could maybe stop the closing. You could cause a lot of trouble. You could if, cause if, a lot of trouble, yeah. So it's, it's a binding contract. Yeah. With a term. With yeah, a name. And, and we were we were talking all of us off camera, and you know our cameraman here has been talking because he's not a realtor, he's not in the business. And we were just saying, what if someone, he's coming up with all these scenarios. What yeah. if we offer someone just does it from the chief or someone just like does it hourly? I mean, Redfin, I know they have agents that do hourly, but I just, when it's commission based, like all of us are, yeah. and you know, today you, may, today you worked with someone for four months and you stop performing, goodbye. That four months, you is, gotta that four months goes in the garbage yeah. and you just wasted all your time. Yeah. So if you go to the, like, it's, it sounds good on paper. But am I missing a birthday party, uh, a kid's field trip, uh, a kid's game, a sporting event, a date night? Because there's a hot property and the people that I, I, you do, you work around it. You do what you can. I know you people, I think that we make our own schedule. But on Sunday, do I miss the Bears game? Because yeah. I got to. But if I'm hourly and I got someone locked in, maybe I do. If you, maybe if, I can say, hey, you know what? This guy can't go nowhere. If I'm, I'm not that type of guy. But if I'm like, hey. You know what? I showed this guy ten houses. There's going to be a lot of agents going to say that. I got oh, him oh. locked in. That's I got him. I got six situation. more months. Yeah, he, he could go Monday. Yeah. Oh, he's off today. Eh. I got stuff going on today. Yeah. And, house, and we all have stuff going on. And sometimes right. I say we're busy. Yeah, but the right. house is gone by then. Either, either the house is gone, or there's it's no, like, or maybe there, the guy's got to work. There's today. no sense of urgency. There's anymore. no sense of urgency. There's yeah. no. There's no. There's no yeah. um, incentive. Like we've worked with. Yeah. Lenders and most of the, all the lenders we work with are commission based, but sometimes the client has someone that's salary based. I've done it before, and it's like five o'clock comes, goodbye. You call them at four thirty, they don't answer. Yeah. Monday, their cell phone's not even on the card. Their cell phone, you get a eight hundred <laughs> number and then eighteen extensions. Yeah. They never answer ever, yeah. and then good luck. You need yeah. a pre approval. You got to put an offer in, and you and they don't answer. That's why, you know, advice to anybody out there, just make sure you got a lender's cell phone. If you don't, just, I'm That's sorry. That's a red flag. I think, I'm sorry. Everyone's got a cell phone now, so there's no excuse. If they don't want to give it to you, then they just don't want to work after hours. Maybe. Yeah. I think Frank is on fire today, huh? Frank is on fire. Um, I don't know. You guys, <laughs> but Frank, back to... We got a little break, up. and I, you Bob, guys got me all revved up. Back to uh, Bob's question. I think the answer is going to be it's going to depend on the brokerage and the agent. That's correct. Well, yeah, but, but technically, technically... If the agent doesn't want to let him go, he doesn't have to let him go. I know. That's it's, what I'm saying. No, it's going to depend on who those people are who are representing them. Who represent Bob. care about them. Yeah. Exactly. Because if he goes to the XR, for example, we're going to try to figure out a way where it's not exclusive. You know, yeah. That but, that, but that's what all the, the real estate um, people are saying. Oh, this is the time. Now you don't have to waste your time. Like we're going to get a lot of hate from an industry. I'm that's fine. Eh, what are they? They're not going to like I don't care. Nah, I, mean, I care. That'll just take me back to my early days when we get yelled at. When, yeah. you know, <laughs> we got yelled at I don't care. Now I, I don't get, care at all. Real, real, there's, you know, bullying, cyber bullying, and then there was realtor yeah. bullying. But you know what? Those, <laughs> those <laughs> days are, I feel like the. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> realtor bullying. It was, was the realtor bullying. There was, man. I know. There there was. I think, now no one says nothing. But I think before those they were over. I got, my date year one, I got yelled at, man. She was yelling at me in front of my clients. You believe it? But I think those days are over. You know? <laughs> that's probably one of the good things that's going to come out I was out like, of this. what is this lady's crazy? The, the, old, the old boys club, or old girls club, yeah. Yeah. is going to be gone. I don't think there is. it. I mean, that kind of is gone. I thought that, I think that ended a while ago. I don't think, I don't know. I just, Maybe, man, I, I think know, it, it, it changed. It changed. It ended because the private, like, you know, private group, old boys, right? <laughs> and it became more the corporate Group. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> so it became, perfect. Oh, we all like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're talking about publicly traded brokerages now. Yeah, right? I am. Talking it's, about it's about bottom line. corporations that are owned by some guy in it, Saudi Arabia. It's I mean, sad, you know, but it's true. It's this Come is on. who we're competing against. We are. You know what I mean? And uh, and at the end of the day, it's you know for them, it, they could lose money. They don't care. They could do whatever they want. And we're here. We're yeah, America. these we're are American here. jobs we're fighting for here. And you guys better you stop calling I mean? me because I'm not franchising anytime soon. <laughs> Actually, never. Yeah, they, they've so, been calling even when we're at our old place here. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, because whatever. But yeah. we can't. But well, we don't because we want to work what's best for the client. I don't want to be dealing with, I got to call, uh, you know, the, the big wig and like, oh, well, can I, this is, you know, if I got to buy a refrigerator, we buy a refrigerator. If we got to fix a furnace, we fix yeah. a furnace to get the deal done. Client right. first. That's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. Just, it's, just it's you know. It's really easy. That's, you know, first. We don't gotta go. Uh, Reputation, oh my God, huge. Yeah. You try your best. And don't get me wrong, you're gonna have some bad scenarios, things are gonna happen, you can make everybody happy, but you still try. 
So I, you know what I mean. I hope Bob, I hope Bob. I hope you're watching and thanks for the question. And we're we're gonna. I think we're gonna start doing that more often. I think you know taking questions. Client yeah, clients. maybe before the podcast, we'll put out there. Yeah, uh, like we'll put we'll put out there like, hey, we're, these are who these are. This is the new podcast coming up. Anybody? I mean, they could ask whatever they want. But if yeah. we have some special guests, I think yeah, it's it's kind of fun. Yeah, that's it's kind of fun. Do. But uh, but man, this all NAR and commission have been heated heated up. Uh, mm. uh, I, I I think it's it's definitely not gonna help the buyer and i'm not trying to say like oh it's i think the price of the house is going to be the price of the house it's all what someone's willing to pay and i think i think it's not no one's really going to save any money i mean i, I don't think anyone's going to it save seems it. like the middle and the lower class are the ones that are going to be yeah the, the, yeah the the guys with the the guys with the least amount of money will get the will get the least service i mean that's what the whole that's what the, the way it's set up it's everyone's represented it's yeah. it's we're, everything on the real estate side, the, from the realtor standpoint, everything's really transparent. You know, I'll tell you the truth. I, I think this thing was too rushed as well. Because yeah. if you think about it, even VA, as of right now, they technically cannot have an agent. Because when they get the loan, they can't pay an agent. That's by right. the VA loan. Right, Adam? Yep. So right now, they still got to figure out how VA is yeah. going to have an agent. You know, be representative. And F FHA, and which is a government-backed program, they lowered the down payment to 3%. Why? Because they're trying to help people who don't have a lot of right. cash get correct. into their first home. Correct. Now they're asking them to come up with another so, 2 or 3%. Correct. So there's uh, going to be a lot of changes still. They don't even have it figured out, I think, in my opinion. Uh, but, unfortunately, the news out there, because let's say the truth, it's all about clickbait. We can't trust the news. It is what it is. But they're doing for clicks. They like all the nice headlines, you know? Yeah, obviously. So, so that's, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. But we're here. We'll help you out. We'll meet you here. You can have coffee yeah. with me. We, you know, all kind of but stuff. For right, for right now, everything is nothing's changed until July. So we're gonna just be no. watching it. I'm sure. I'm sure another podcast in the future. This topic will come back. I mean, up. for me, I tell you the truth. My personal opinion, how I'm gonna do it personally, I'm not gonna change my ways. It's gonna be the same. I'm just gonna work. You know, I mean, not work around it. I'm gonna. We're, we're gonna work. I'm with, gonna we're work gonna, within it. Yeah, I'm going to work within it. Okay, that's the right way. Work within it. I'm going to work within it, but I'm yeah, going to be the same way. Frank's in charge of HR here. Go ahead. H yeah, no, I'm not. Charge <laughs> no, I'm not. That's an outside, that's an yeah, outside yeah. company. I'm going to work There's within it. There's no HR department. We don't, no, I'm not in charge yeah. of HR. Whatever's best for my client. I don't there might be cases where I make a little less. You know, it yeah. might be. But there's always been. But there might be cases where I make even more. How many so times? I think I'll leverage out for me we personally. How many times we make less? A lot of times. Yeah. Of so it's like, it's, it, it, when you think about it, it's like, okay, is there anything really, I mean. I think I'll leverage out. Yeah, it'll leverage out. It's just, it, just it, it, it creates another step. It creates another two, three steps also, in the Also, I want to bring, out, I bring up out there because, you know, a lot of people hear us and, you know, there's like, you know, I've seen all these comments of people, TikTok and Instagram of other realtors and like, people are going crazy, right? Oh, you guys are greedy, all the agents. You know, and that is true. They see me, right? I'm dressed up trying to look nice, have my fancy car. But let's explain where, how our commission works, right? Yeah. You get this 2%, let's say on 300,000, six grand, and you're like, man, six grand is a lot of money. It takes me two months to work to make six grand, right? For some people. But what we do with six grand? What we do with six grand? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to pay the office. Pay your, your brokerage. We gotta pay the office, right? right. And you split. Right. This yeah. isn't free. I mean, this is all. It's not free, right? Yeah. Right. Then you got Uncle tech. Sam. Uncle Sam. That's another 20, 25%. Yep. Then, then you have you, expenses with you the You have buyer. insurance? Insurance on the car. I mean, besides the you car, know? you have any health insurance? You guys oh, have health yeah. insurance? Yeah. Any office almost nobody has, so you gotta pay your own. Then you gotta do maybe you have some retirement program, retirement set up, and you, you know, put in some money there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and many more other expenses. Right. Well, like so, that, but but let's, this is a business, and there's overhead. It's not like we just get dressed and go. I mean, I you send mailers out. It's like fifteen hundred dollars. You yeah. send, you do, um, you know, you send calendars out. It's that costs another. That costs more. more. Yeah. My you, people you, know you, I send all the calendars every time, and I, I'm telling you, last year I think I paid. It was like forty grand. Yeah, I mean, people aren't, gonna, people aren't going to believe you, but I believe forty you. grand. Yeah. You buy, you I'm want to joke around. You see a picture on someone's I'm ad mailing. online, thousand bucks a month. Yeah. You see a park bench, another thousand bucks a month. Yeah. So you start adding it, it up. It adds up. You could be a six, seven thousand a month. Times that by twelve. I mean, I'm grateful. Get, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but you know, but 80, 80, That's why eighty-five percent of people fail. That's what yeah. I was telling. Uh, our camera. It's like it's not like we got a, 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 a we we know a politician and there's only so many anyone could go take the class. And be a realtor. Yeah. And I and I advise when people start, they're like, okay, 
go take the class. It's, you'll be three months. You'll have your license. You can come work. I'll hire you. You start and go from there. And I'll tell you exactly what I do. And if you want to do it and you're good at it, great. But it's, nothing's easy. No matter what job you have, nothing's easy. And if it was easy, everyone would do it. Any transaction that I've done, I, I think for the most part, 99% probably. Yeah, there might be some problems. Some people had problems, had to replace a roof or something. I'm positive on got water or something. But everybody have equity and they build wealth and they build retirement for their family, for themselves. Like, you know, we try to do the right, the right thing. Yeah, I know? mean, you try to do, you do what the client wants. You try to help, you help them in every way, be ethical. Yeah. And, and that's it, so... Anyway, and this is for a majority of people the most say some good say some good news. Well, I'm just gonna say it. this is the most important <laughs> and the biggest oh, financial investment yeah. that they'll make in their life. Yeah, 100%. yeah. This is retirement funds. This is college funds for kids. I mean, this is a big deal. Yeah, a hundred percent. A lot of people having someone help you along the way who's done it hundreds of times yeah. um, is is a nice thing that buyers have had. And they haven't had to come up with the money for it to do it. And I understand that, th yeah, that the they're trying to change it here to try to make it more transparent or whatever. And all the bad news and everything kind of, I think, twisted what it was. It came from a good place. Yeah. I mean, this has been like this for a long time. Yeah. And it's There's been like always some, some bad yeah, apples. It's, There's it's, bad apples in every yeah. job, of course. Yeah. But they did this right. to give buyers help and representation yeah. on making such a large purchase. I mean, and, and, but everybody knows, I mean, I most of the time when they get educated, like, oh, hey, how do you get paid? Like, okay, the, the seller pays it, it's a seller cost, yeah. and then it, and then it gets split. So it's like, and it's built into the, the seller price might just all. say, okay, no one's yeah. offering it, I'll just keep the whole thing, the listing, I'll just keep the whole thing for myself. They could do that too. Right. We don't know. Next time I go to a restaurant, I do want to know how much they paid for the pasta and the chef and everything. Yeah. 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 I want to see the list, the material. I want to see the inventory list. I mean, I want you know. What I mean? I, the spoon, so the plate. I got a, I got a question. I don't, I don't know where I, I, I don't know where I heard it. Those people that sued them when they sold, did they buy in our place? And if they bought, did they use a buyer's agent? And did, so, they, and did they pay them out of their own pocket? The people just made like fifty bucks. Those people. They didn't make them. The big the money went to Missouri? the attorney's so, ones. Yeah. Missouri? When they sold and they bought something else, did they... Did they use a buyer's agent? No, did they pay their, their buyer's agent out of their own pocket? No, I'm sure they didn't. No. Oh, no. Okay. I'm sure so they I'm didn't. Sure. No. I'm sure the seller paid Just them. curious. You know, maybe, they, maybe they felt like, hey, no, I want to pay because that's the right thing to do. And, you and think the they seller shouldn't pay. You no. think they're mad when the sale price was driven up? No. You think they're uh, mad yes. that they sold for I think they, grand I think, more? I think they would take less. And and let's let's also talk like really quickly. It's not like... It, it's not like you were paying twice anyway. You were, what happened was when you were buying, you didn't pay a, a broker, and then when you sold, you paid. That's right. Now they're right. just splitting it. That's right. And now you're paying to buy, you're paying to sell. Yeah, they, right. they basically put it on the on the buyer. They're putting the cost on the buyer side. They're moving it and just sliding it over to the. And, and the buyer kind of technically paid. It was like within the price, right? Yeah. And the seller was okay to give it. Yeah. Right. That's how it worked, you know. But now you actually helping the seller to make more money. Yeah, you're, just making, what it comes you're making it less affordable for yourself. You're making it less affordable. You know, you're they're trying to make it like, oh, it's helping buyers because they're, they're this is driving up prices and they're no. actually paying off and it's fixed. It's like, and that's okay for sellers to make more money. That's okay. Yeah, you know, because maybe when you become a seller, you make more money too later on. It'll wash, but in the meantime, when you buy initially, especially at first, if you're a savvy buyer like right now, for me, I don't care about this. I like keep your commission. Just give me the good. You know, let me figure out. Let me get the property. But if you're a first-time home buyer, you're yeah. trying to get it. I know so many scenarios, so many buyers that literally that could bro that maybe didn't make them qualify, right? And if sure. they qualify and they got that first house, they built equity, and now maybe they're okay to pay extra. Well, even, so. even you, you, yeah. to get the loan, you got to have reserves. You got to have okay. I need the down payment. I need this reserves. Now you're gonna throw another line item in there. Yeah. It's like they're gonna just gonna be. Yeah. It's interesting. You had, you had somebody that she, she had to break her lease and she couldn't afford the she didn't, she couldn't afford the penalty. Right. It was like nine hundred extra dollars, yeah. and she's like, okay, I gotta pay this my down payment. Can you imagine I, she had to. I pay gotta buy I gotta buy a refrigerator for the place, and I, then I gotta mm -hmm. buy this this this. I saw a stat today, a stat today. Uh, I think fifty five percent of Americans make it one hundred fifty to two hundred grand. That's a lot of money. They're still living paycheck to paycheck. And to make that here, you gotta sell a lot of houses. Yep. Do you know what I mean? I know, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know what I mean? That's the reality. Yeah. So this is going to affect a lot of, uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll, uh, see. we'll, we'll, we'll see how it shakes out. I mean, we'll we don't see. we don't know. Yeah, I think. Well, we'll be okay. Yeah. I well, think the we're sellers, gonna... they get to pay their commission from the proceeds. So that's a big thing. What if they had to pay us up front? Just yeah, out of, of the their buyer. pocket. Out yeah. of the pocket. They wouldn't want to do that. No. 
That's no. the, well, the that's the thing. That's they the whole have the point. money in that. Well, that's the difference when you're selling, right? right? It's like they, if you don't sell, they pay nothing. Right. right? That's right. that's kind of the deal here. It's we don't. The realtor's not guaranteed any money. Like we could work. I could have a listing. I have one listing. It's it's like there's legal thing going on and it's it's been a year and a half wait 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 not not true unless bob signs a fancy can that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying fancy company he's gonna also, he's gonna pay some maybe there's gonna be contracts like hey if you don't find nothing you wasted my time you still owe me well two there grand. is there is a retainer on the form yeah there's a retainer you could yeah Retainer. Retainer. There's yeah, a like retainer a, on the If I was a buyer, I would, say, for, 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 I would not use no agent. <laughs> hey, yeah. gonna, gonna if be, I don't find an XR the realtor's agent, gonna be I'm hated. not using no agent. I'm going to go yeah, by myself. There's realtor hated even more, like a retainer. Yeah. What are, you are you kidding me? What are you? It's retainer? A it's a joke. It's, what are you doing? Surgery? It makes us, it's like that we're already getting a bad light sh yeah. shut on us, and it's kind of making it look worse because it's like, okay, I mean, am I going to be seriously saying I'll retainer? It's like, come on, man. Wow. And I do hear people spinning. Oh, it's like, but people spin it. They're yeah. spinning it all. This Show is it's like value. okay. Like Show I, when value. you deal with real people, and it's yeah. like re regular, legit. I mean, pe listen. Show people. your value could work, guys, for real. If you're like in Lake Forest, Winneka, this for high end markets, you know, in Chicago, I mean, and other places too. But, but a lot of the little demographic, my dad working in construction. He's like, hey, dude, I don't care about your value, man. Yeah, I'm good you are. I, need, I, don't, I don't have a lot of money. I, I, it's, it's another roadblock. I you think. know what I mean? They're putting another roadblock in for buyers. So, yep. anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes we'll out. See. We'll see. We'll be good. We'll be here. No, we'll be fine. I'm not, We're not going anywhere. I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not sweating. The future is bright. Yes, it is. That's right, man. The future is bright. That's, That's how we are at XR. That's we adapt. We're going to be fighting. We're not scared. We'll go the extra mile. Just like I said on the side. We're always fighting. More than ever now. <laughs> two extra miles. Yeah, I'm going to change it. We go two extra miles. I got a lot of miles on my car, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, uh, is that a wrap? I think, I think it's a wrap. We talked about a lot of stuff. We had a great yeah. time. It was awesome. Good to have you, Brittany. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me. It's always good chatting always. with you guys. Clients always fun. This, 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 live. We survived. That's yeah, one of those guys. Here's our, they're still here, guys. They're still here. We're we don't, still here. We We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't lose people. So thank God. And yeah. uh, thanks, thanks for coming too, Adam. Appreciate it. it thank awesome. you. Some pleasure. And always fun, Frank. Yep. Right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll be we'll be back soon. So. Yep. Huh? We'll so, be back uh, um, in July to deliver the good news. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Now nah, we'll see. But we'll be back. We'll have more episodes. New episodes coming up soon again, and many more. And we like doing this. And thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for yeah. watching. Bye. Bye. Ciao.